in this video, I'm going to run through the best way to approach the abdomen and how you want to study the material. First of all, you want to remember that your abdomen is going to be broken down into your foregut, midgut, and hindgut. You first of all want to start off by finding out and discussing the organs found in each gut. Therefore, first things first, you start with the foregut and you discuss the organs that are found. Once you've discussed the organs that are found, organs in the body are going to need a blood supply. Therefore, the next thing you want to look at will be the blood supply for that respective gut. The third thing you want to look at will be regarding the innovation of that respective gut. That we're talking about autonomic innovation. Therefore, there's going to be an aspect that's going to be parasympathetic and sympathetic for each gut. The last aspect you want to be aware of will be pertaining to the lymphatic drainage of each of the respective guts. Now that we have talked about the four key aspects of how you want to approach the abdomen, I'm going to discuss the four guts in more detail. Starting off with the organ structures. Once you know the organ structures of the foregut, you have to be aware, like we mentioned earlier, they need a blood supply. That blood supply will be the celiac trunk. Next, we'll be talking about the innervation of the foregut. Parasympathetic innervation, which is going to be in part of the rest and digest, is going to be from the vagus nerve. Sympathetic is going to be from the greater thoracic splanchnic nerve. That's going to be from T5 to T9. For lymphatic drainage, all the drainage from the foregut is going to end up in the celiac group of lymph nodes. You would like to go through the same approach with the midgut and the hindgut. Same thing. You start off with the organ structures in the midgut, and then you say the blood supply for those organ structures will be the superior mesenteric artery. You then go into the innervation. Parasympathetic for the midgut will be once again the vagus nerve. For sympathetic, it will be the lesser and the least splanchnic nerve. The lymphatic drainage for my midgut will be going to my superior mesenteric group of lymph nodes. Now that you're left with your hindgut, once again, we go through the organ structures. The blood supply for the hindgut will be my inferior mesenteric artery. And the innervation for the hindgut, once again, will be broken down into parasympathetic, which will be my pelvic splanchnic nerve, the only parasympathetic splanchnic nerve. And then for sympathetic, it will be the lumbar splanchnic nerve. The lymphatic drainage for my hindgut will be going to the inferior mesenteric group of lymph nodes. This was an overview of the approach to study abdomen anatomy. If you have any questions, contact MedTutors on the email provided below. Thank you.